a NASA probe encounters a mysterious object orbiting Saturn. It looks like the Death Star. It's uncanny. The strange sphere vibrates as it travels through space. You have to ask, is it really a moon? Is it really natural? <laughs> February 13th, 2010. NASA's Cassini probe is seven years into its mission to uncover the secrets of Saturn. During a high orbit, 31,000 miles above the ring planet's outer atmosphere, it encounters a little-known object named Mimas. Mimas is an odd little world. Like most of Saturn's moons, Mimas is made mostly of rock and water ice. It's only about 250 miles across, which is, you know, like driving from Phoenix to Las Vegas. One feature immediately stands out. A gigantic crater that makes it look like the Death Star from Star Wars. When the Cassini probe makes a second pass around Mimas in 2014, it picks up strange readings. The tiny rock is vibrating as it travels through space. Mimas also has a very weird wobble, and scientists aren't really sure why. It wobbles like this as it goes through space. Moons don't do that. Without an immediate explanation, there are those who will continue to believe that Mimas may be the real Death Star. Cassini mission researchers launch an investigation into the strange phenomenon. Our first instinct was to look at the most recognizable feature on the surface, which is Herschel Crater. The crater is so big compared to the size of the moon that if we had a similar crater on Earth, it would be the size of Australia. It's almost a miracle that this moon stayed together. It should have been smashed apart by this object that created the crater. Researchers still don't know how Mimas survived the Herschel impact. But Radwan Tajetan develops a theory that whatever hit Mimas compacted its rocks so much, the entire moon is unbalanced, producing what scientists call a mass anomaly. Usually, impacts create mass anomalies beneath the surface such a big impact should have created a very large mass anomaly that might explain the wobble. When you change the way the mass is distributed around a moon like that, you can change the way that it spins. Tejeddin runs computer simulations to model the Herschel impact. He compares the model's data to the vibration observed on Mimas, but the math doesn't add up. After testing, we noticed that the mass anomaly is not big enough to explain this wobble. Its wobble is two times bigger than we expect for models. Researchers suggest something else hidden deep below the surface of Mimas could account for the unnatural vibration. Scientists turn to another of Saturn's moons for clues, Enceladus. Enceladus is one of the most amazing bodies in the entire solar system. Enceladus also has a puzzling wobble. In 2015, scientists discover the cause, a massive subterranean ocean. It has geysers. Dozens and dozens of geysers spewing out water. And so we know that Enceladus has a water ocean beneath its surface. Having this liquid in there kind of gives it a sloshing around action that creates a wobble. This makes sense on Enceladus. Maybe the same thing is happening on Venus. If there was a subsurface ocean 15 to 18 miles underneath the surface of Mimas, it could account for this motion. Almost a billion miles from the warmth of the sun, Mimas is made mostly of ice with only a small amount of rock. If the hidden ocean theory is correct, Mimas is far stranger than anyone imagined. 
In order to have a liquid water ocean that far from the sun, you need to have some sort of an internal heat source. It's about the heat source. If we can identify a heat source, we can have a subsurface ocean. Examination of the moon's surface reveals no trace of activity that could produce enough heat to melt the ice on Mimas. If Mimas was heating, you would expect to see some geological activity on surface. But Mimas doesn't seem to have an active surface that's been shaped by tectonic activity. From what we can see, Mimas is a cold, frozen, dead world. But something about Mimas doesn't fit the ocean theory, its orbit. Over time, moons with subsurface oceans tend to fall in a spherical orbit. Mimas travels in an ellipse. If Mimas did have a liquid water ocean, then gradually its orbit would settle into a more regular circular path. And that's not what's happened. So we're kind of back at square one. A moon that is spherical without a subsurface ocean that has an elliptical orbit around the planet and it wobbles? That's just weird. For now, scientists are still unable to explain the behavior of Saturn's mysterious satellite.